Hi there, this is Sage Queen from GameTourist.com, and today I'm going to be doing a guide for the Adept class for Mass Effect 2, briefly looking back to Mass Effect 1. Now, Mass Effect 2 has been out for over a year, but if you're thinking about doing your second or third or 20th playthrough and you'd like to try the Adept, or if you're thinking about taking it on up to Hardcore Insanity difficulty and want some tips to take with you along the way, that's what this guide is going to be about. Now, I'm going to assume that you've probably read the Codex entry on Biotics. Biotics is basically a form of telekinesis. Aliens and some humans have developed the ability to manipulate dark energy and basically to create gravity affecting and some type of missile sort of skills in the process. Biotic adepts are soldiers that rely on biotics extremely heavily. Um, rather than relying on technology or guns quite so much, they tend to put a lot of their emphasis on their biotic skills. Um, the Adept is a really fun class to play. I personally love it. A lot of guides out there already, and they're good. Um, many of them will frequently tell you that there's only one right way to play the Adept, or they'll tell you the best way. I'm going to try and avoid doing that. Most people play a Nemesis Reeve Adept. I actually play a Bastion Barrier Adept, and it works very well. I've heard a million times that it doesn't work on the higher difficulties. Just finished my Insanity run, so I beg to differ. Again, I think that you can do just about anything you want, and you can probably make it work, but this is going to be a guide to kind of some of the fundamentals of adepting and what you might want to consider as an adept. Quick note about the uh, shepherd you'll be seeing in these guides. That is a femship. That's my own custom Curie Shepherd femship. And uh, I absolutely love Female Shepherd, one of the best female heroines ever created, voiced by the amazing Jennifer Hale, and I hope you enjoy watching her in these guides. All right, so before we finish out this intro, um, I'm going to briefly look back to Mass Effect 1 to look at what Adept looked like back then, and um, that'll be kind of a comparison point for what Mass Effect 2 did with the class. If you never played Mass Effect 1 um, and never planned to, shame on you. It's a really good game. You should give it a try. But I understand uh, a lot of people prefer the gameplay to Mass Effect 2. I prefer the gameplay of Mass Effect 2. And uh, you may not really feel like going back. If not, go ahead and skip on ahead to the next video because I'm going to briefly outline what the skills looked like in Mass Effect 1. Because then when we get to Mass Effect 2, you're going to see there were some pretty fundamental changes that they made. Okay, Mass Effect 1 gave the Adept an absolutely killer skill, Singularity. That was really the special skill for the Adept. You could unlock it for other classes, though. And people frequently um, used it in tandem with Vanguard to make an absolutely overpowered uh, a biotic Shepherd, but it was originally an Adept skill. Singularity is a trap, essentially. It does no damage, and it pulls all the mobs into the area into orbit around this biotic gravity well of Shepherd's making. In Mass Effect 1, this skill completely bypassed shields, so everybody went flying. A lot of the furniture, too. It also only pulled creatures upon whom it had been cast originally. So if you have a latecomer to the party, they don't get sucked into the well. You have to do something else for them. Once you got things flying in that singularity, it was useful to use pistols on whoever was trapped in it. And pistols were the only weapon that Shepard got a mastery for. Pistols were very effective, especially if you used marksmen, but it was always kind of funny to me. Shepard's got all these guns on her back, or his back, um, and yet never really uses them. Singularity was an incredibly useful skill, but one of the coolest things was that it was on a recharge timer separate from the other skills. So you also have the skills of throw, which also completely bypassed shields. You can just toss people into a wall and it did quite a bit of damage. Lift sent them flying into the stratosphere. Sometimes they'd come down and die. Sometimes they'd never come down again. Sometimes they got stuck in the ceiling. It was kind of fun. Warp, I'll be honest, I never found it terribly effective. I tended to kind of avoid it, but then again, I used it, because since you're on a separate recharge timer for all these skills, you could essentially set them off one right after the other, if you so chose. There are many different ways to play the Adept, but one of the most effective ways to play the Adept was simply to send things flying and then shoot them down. Um, sort of like shooting clay pigeons, really. Mass Effect 2, however, did some game balancing things, and so the Adept became less overpowered and a little bit more complicated to play. However, I personally found it more interesting that way, and I'll be talking a bit about that in the next video. From Game Tourist, this is Sage Queen. Happy hunting.